Konnichiwa, Lol Chan here, finally back for another book review, and this time it is on Wither by Lauren De Stefano. Did I pronounce that right? I have no idea. On to the cover. How gorgeous is this? I mean, look at the colour scheme, the photography, the shiny metallic pink of the title. I even love the symbolisation of the bird in the cage in the wedding ring to symbolise freedom, or not. I love everything about this cover, apart from the bottom part of the dress. Hideous. I don't like it. No. It just, no. I don't like it. Everything else is beautiful. The hair, the makeup, and I love even the fact how you can spread this out and it'll make a whole better picture. And hello, can you see me behind this cover? Hi. And even in the flaps, you've got photography too. I mean, you've got like lilies here and, and... Them. Bird in a cage here. Yep, awkwardly holding a book for the camera. Nice. I give this cover a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's just so adorable and well presented and everything and I just love it so much. So Ryan is a girl who's been kidnapped and practically been bought for the purpose of marriage and making babies along with two other girls and quite frankly that would freak me out in this day and age and practically ever. <laughs> What I love about this book so much is the three elements which kind of make up a good story and movies and games and stuff to do with that. You've got the villain and that would happen to be, I'm not going to tell you because that would kind of ruin it. But you probably already know before you even watch this video. So you've got the villain who's not who he seems even though he's all smiley on the outside. He's really evil and scheming and all that. Evil person, evil person. So he happens to have the name of one of my favourite characters on Harvest Moon Islands of Happiness DS. And that is just so sad to me, but then I'm a bit of a geek, so yeah. Oh well, evil dude, evil name, go! You've got the forbidden romance, of course! What's better than romance than forbidden romance? I'm just like, ah! inner fan girl, inner fan girl! And that's just basically how I went throughout the whole book. When's he going to see her again? Come on, come on. The ending was so good, by the way. It was just like, oh, good luck in book two. I want to see what happens when I get that book. So good. Mm -hmm. And three, we've got this scheming and trying to escape part, which is always a very important part of the book because that can make or break it. And I would say in this situation, this definitely makes it. So like I was saying, Rain isn't the only girl. You've got the two other ones, one of which is older and one of which is younger and has no clue and is practically happy to be in this situation. But I think it's good to have a variation so like you can see how different people react, their different backgrounds and all that sort of things and just how cruel a world that's become because of circumstances and all that sort of stuff. I loved it so much that I'm going to give Wither a 5 out of 5 stars. Thumbs up. Happy Alleluia. New word. So leave in the comments below what you thought of Wither and I hope you have a good day. Sayonara. In case you're wondering why I'm speaking Japanese, it's just because I feel really hyper today and practically my friend just told me to shut up when speaking Japanese on Facebook yesterday, so I just thought I'd annoy you guys with it instead. Happy Jubilee weekend! Bye! And don't forget to check out my review blog, which I'll link down in the magic box. Bye again!